I'll pause that there. Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis. I'm an audio reviewer and a Direct Live calibrator. I'm at Nintronics, the excellent hi-fi and AV dealership in Hertfordshire. Because they're running an event day, an event with Bowers and Wilkins, where Bowers and Wilkins are going to be demonstrating and talking about and explaining their new full range of formation products. And you probably have to have been on Planet Zog to not know what Bowers and Wilkins formation products are, but the formation range is a series of products. This is the formation duo that you're looking at here. They've got a wedge, they've got a subwoofer, and they've got a sound bar, and also a play unit too. And it's a fully wireless, kind of multi-room integrated system that uses proprietary uh, wireless technology or wireless linking technology between the different Bowers and Wilkins products, which means you can have really a multi-room setup really, really easily and really simply. But as Pursuit of Perfect System viewers and yeah, kind of extreme audio files, the products like the Wedge and the product like the Soundbar and the Subwoofer are great, but really it's kind of the high-end, you know, proper speakers that we're interested in. Now, I've got down to Nintronics really early because I wanted to have a listen to the Bowers and Wilkins Formation Duo, which when you look at them, it looks like a kind of like an 805, doesn't it? Which is, I think these speakers are really, really lovely from a styling point of view. Now, I don't fully know the speakers yet. I'm still getting to know the product range. This is my first time really interacting with it and listening to it. But what these are, these are fully active speakers, which means we literally got you know, a plug from the wall powering them. Internally, they've got built-in amplification, built-in DAX, and built-in wireless streaming. And they also act as Rune endpoints as well, which is how I'm using them. So currently we've actually got them connected to the network in here in Nintronics, but you can use these fully wirelessly. And the bit that's interesting and probably of interest to you is the fact that they also connect together wirelessly and they do so up to 96 kilohertz. It just means you've got a really high data transfer rate between the speakers. So at the moment, even though the speakers are connected to the internal network here, they're not connected together. We're gonna to be listening to them over a wireless link. And the fact that I'm saying that, and I've just been listening to them this morning, uh, that didn't really sort of hit home to me. I just had to go away funnily enough and ask and check because I was thinking, you know, this doesn't sound like kind of like a wireless pair of speakers. This actually sounds like a proper pair of hi-fi speakers. So, I mean, talk is cheap. You can go away, you can read reviews, you can do all that. But what I want to do is record the sound from this system, or these speakers, really. This is a system. This is it. A whole system. We've got a whole rack here doing nothing to the point where I can probably just pose on it. <laughs> That's all we really need it for. So what I'm going to try and do is, or I'm, what I'm going to do, sorry, is record some different styles of music just to give you some idea of what these speakers sound like. And I'm sure you'll realise that you do get a very stereo hi-fi experience from them. So to me, that, that really is what counts. And uh, I think these are gonna be really popular for people that want a no clutter, but still high performance hi-fi system that looks really nice. Again, I can't get over that styling. Bowser Morgan's done a great job. So enough talk, let's play some music and I'll come back and talk at the end. I may know the word but now say it. I may know the truth, but now face it. I may hear the sound, a whisper. Sacred and profound If I turn my head Indifferent I may know the word But not say it But now taste, taste it. And 
And I may know the way To comfort and to soothe the worried face But for my head Indifferent If I'm on my knees I'm begging now If I'm on my knees I'm groping in the dark I'd be praying for same for you. Tell the truth, I think I should have seen it coming from a mile away. When the words you say are, oh, baby, I'm a fool who thinks it's cool to fall in love. If I gave the thought to fascination, I would know it wasn't right to care. by a love affair Still my heart would benefit from a little tenderness from time to time But never mind Cause baby I'm a fool who thinks it's cool to fall in love to a church
Troubles were cheering Trouble With the dress that's as black as my heart On this train Troubles are cheering Trouble With those lips that's as red as the blood in my veins
put that down, sit down here because there's no kit here, is there? It's just, just space. And to be honest, if this wasn't here, you'd probably be getting even better imaging across there. So what do you think? What do you think of that sound? Um, it's impressive in a lot of ways. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what I thought. I'd say I've had a listening session and then obviously I was listening while I was recording. And it's it's a typical Bowers and Wilkins sound, but only to a point. And that's the bit that I think is really quite interesting. What do I mean by that? Well, it's lively, it's dynamic, it's expressive. You know, the music's got lovely timing and it's kind of, it skips along at a really nice pace as you get with a lot of the newer Bowers and Wilkins speakers once they've got the uh, continuum drivers and stuff in them. And the fact we've got the tweeter on top that gives you a lovely open sound. And I think Bowers and Wilkins speakers that have got the tweet, tweeter on top image really lovely across between the speakers and actually up here above the speakers. Now the bit that's caught me out actually, the bit that I probably wasn't expecting is the level of transparency that we're getting from these speakers. From that classical piece of music, we was getting you know a reasonable amount of depth from the speakers, i.e. bits of music coming from kind of back here. And I'm sure you know, from a you know an acoustics point of view or a more experienced listener could probably dial these in to get more depth from the sound. Maybe if they came out into the room, you'd get a bit more depth from them as well. So you've got to factor in, these are wireless speakers. Obviously they're, they're wireless with proper quality drivers and proper quality amplification and DACs and stuff built in. But these two speakers are connecting to each other wirelessly. And you have to remind yourself of that because you would easily forget. You would completely easily forget. There's a couple of things I think to speak about that's possibly a little bit different. What I noticed straight away, as soon as I started listening to these, they're a little bit more relaxed in the treble than other Bowers and Wilkins speakers are that I've heard or experienced. It could be down to a lot of reasons. Maybe that's something to do with using an active crossover as part of, you know, a, a, like an active speaker. Possibly there's something there. Maybe Bowers and Wilkins have just tuned it just a little bit more relaxed in the treble, thinking that people might be using these in just average living rooms and stuff. And they think maybe in a, in a kind of more modern, more live type of acoustic room, a slightly bit more kind of easy going treble would be nice. And don't get me wrong, there's plenty of detail there. As I say, music tricks along at a really nice speed and, and that is all based on treble clarity. But that, that treble is just a little bit more relaxed than I was expecting for the better, certainly not for the worse. The only slight snag I can think of in terms of performance is possibly the bass. You know, we've got not a massive speaker cabinet in general, then obviously in there, we've got all the drivers, and we've obviously got the amplification circuits and all the other bits and pieces that are in there. So, you know, it's not a huge cabinet to start with, so you're never gonna get, you know, kind of massive seismic bass from a you know, bookshelf speaker. Well, sometimes you do actually, tell a lie, but uh, you know, you get, you get enough bass, you get enough foundation. It's not, it's not an overly forward or bright sound of the fact that there is no bass. And what's quite interesting is, as parts of that classical music was tricking along, it was quite impactful, you know, the music was coming, it was dynamic. So, um, yeah, it's done, they've done a lot of things, a lot of things right. You know, it's not, it's not a perfect presentation. I don't think you can expect that, or you can expect that from any system. But I think for about £3,000 what these cost, considering that speakers, stands, amplifiers, DACs, you don't need cables, it can work all wirelessly. <laughs> these, could, these could obviously, what these could do is could, could convert a few audio files who want to maybe downsize the system. Audio files that have big systems might like these as a second system in a dining room or something like that, or I don't know, summer house, something like that. Or it could just be a great product to get people into hi-fi, to get people coming away from sound bars or moving up, sorry, from sound bars or wedges or from Bluetooth speakers. It could be a great product for people that are, or a great hook for audio, for, you know, for new audio files, people that are listening to Bluetooth type speakers, which are okay at best, you know, stepping up to something that works and it's kind of like a Bluetooth speaker, but just on a much bigger scale. And this gives them a taste and experience of what a proper and full hi-fi system can do. And someone left a, a message on one of my videos the other day about millennials and millennials getting into this hobby. Well, products like this could be the exact products that we need as an industry or that the industry uses or that gets, you know, just, just that product that attracts the young people into more elaborate, more, uh, what's the word, into more capable products and more capable audio systems and, and just how good listening to music can actually be when it's done through a, through a really good system. So I'm really impressed with 
you know, the Bowers and Wilkins formation trio speakers, as I'm sure you'll be able to tell from the recordings. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in having a listen for yourself and you live anywhere in the southeast of England, I would suggest speaking to the guys at Intronics. Obviously, they've got them here. Um, got fantastic demonstration facilities for you to come and have a listen and their customer service is outstanding as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this little series I'm putting together for these uh, Bowser Milkins Formation products and I'll be seeing you all soon. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this and hit that notification bell for a special prize. Go visit our website, addresses along the bottom if you haven't recently because there's always some great interesting and you know news and other bits and pieces going on there. Uh, yeah, make sure you go and check out the other videos that we're creating and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.